In this video, I show you how to turn a screen recording into an MP3 on your iPhone and essentially extract the audio from it. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are in my photos and in the bottom right, I have a screen recording, which I want to go and turn into an audio file and just basically extract the audio from. So the first thing you need to do is go and close off the photos app. Then what we need to do is actually go and open up the shortcuts app. Don't worry, this is going to completely work. So what we need to do is go across the second page and the shortcuts app is usually here. If not, or you can't find it. Just go and search your phone by dragging down on it, or you can go and go across to the app library on your phone like so. Or alternatively, if you think you've deleted it, go and open up the app store like this, go and tap on search in the bottom right once it loads, uh, and then you can go and type in shortcut just like so, and you should be able to go and find it pretty easily as you can see here it is. Then you can go and download it and go and open it up. Then what you need to do is go to the shortcuts page like so, and what we need to do is go and create a new shortcut. So go and tap on the plus button in the top right like so, and then it's gonna go and start the process. The first thing you need to do is go and tap on new shortcut one at the top like this, and we want to go and rename this. I'm gonna go and name this something like extract because we're sort of extracting the audio from the screen recording, so I'll name it extract. Then what you need to do is go and press done like so, and then what we need to do is go to the bottom of shortcuts and go and tap on the I button, the information button basically, just like that. Then what you want to do is tap on show in share sheet. This basically is going to allow us to convert in just a moment. I'll show you what to do though. Uh, then press done in the top right. Now what we need to do is go and press on receive where it says any, as you see, receive any input from a share sheet, tap on any like so. Uh, and what you want to do is press clear in the top left like so, and then just enable media. You can also go and toggle them off manually as well, but clear is just a bit faster. Then press done in the top right like that. And then tap on search for apps and actions. And what you want to do is type in encode. I've now gone and typed in encode. And what we need to do is tap on encode media in the media section, just like this. Um, and what we can now do is go in and expand this. So go and tap on the arrow facing right in the encode section like this and go and tap on audio only like so. Then what you want to do is come to the bottom and then go and tap on search for apps and actions again to go and add like another process to this uh, shortcut and then type in save just like so and then we can go and tap on save file just like that. Then what you can do is press on the arrow facing right as well to go and get a bit more information about it. Um, but there's not too much we need to do here. You can have ask where to save um, enabled because then we can just go and choose where you want to go and save the file uh, when we're sort of doing the extraction process. But that's finished. Now what we can do is go and press done in the top right like so, and it's now appearing in our shortcuts. And what we need to do is go back to photos and we need to go and find the screen recording, uh, which we want to go and extract the audio from and turn into an audio file, which is this one here. Um, so what you need to do is go and press on the share button on the bottom left. And then what you need to do is scroll down this page. Then at the bottom, you can go and see your shortcuts. And in my case, mine is here. So I'm going to go and tap on it just like so. And depending on how long the screen recording is, it may say preparing. And then your folder is going to go and open so you can go and choose where you want to go and save it. So I'm going to go and tap on browse like so, and then press on my iPhone. Um, and I'm just going to go and save the audio on my iPhone here. So I'll tab open in the top right like so. Then as you can see, we now get that tick and now it's finished. So what we can do is go and close off of our photos, then swipe across and go and find your files app. So once again, you can go and search your phone for that if you're struggling to find it and go and open it up. Then go and tap on browse so you're on this page here and under locations, you can then go and press on my iPhone like so. And now we can go and find the screen recording audio. So in this case, it's going to be called RP um, Replay Final. This is it at the bottom. As you can see, it was at 314 and it's now 315. So go and tap on it and then we can go and play it back and go and hear it. And then you can go and use the share button in the bottom right uh, to go and do things with it, you know, share it to people and go and use it. So that's it guys. If you found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.